Hello, my friends. I am Dr. Bree, Doctor of Physical Therapy and founder of Fusion Fitness. And I am here to share with you today a yoga routine that is wonderful for women who have any type of anxiety related to sex. Possibly you have low libido and you just need something to help get you in the mood. Maybe your pelvic floor muscles are very, very tight and tense and they cause you a lot of discomfort during sex. This, at an extreme case, is called vaginismus and I definitely recommend if vaginismus is a problem for you that you see a women's health physical therapist and they can really help you one-on-one -on -one, uh, with this condition. But if you are looking for something that you can do at home that might help you, again, whether you need help with libido or just help calming down before sex or help with the pelvic pain, discomfort, excess pelvic tension, such as vaginismus, then this routine is for you. Now, I encourage you to get through the first three to five minutes. It might be a little weird. You might be thinking, what's going on? But I promise you, if you just have an open mind, this is going to really, really be helpful for you. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing is not necessarily something that everyone will have, um, so I have an alternative. But if you are an essential oils user, consider getting Ylang Ylang. This is an essential oil that has a nice floral scent and it actually has been shown to help reduce anxiety related to sex. So this is a wonderful oil to diffuse. I would recommend perhaps three to four drops in your diffuser. Absolutely amazing when coupled with sandalwood essential oil, which is my favorite. So that's a wonderful way to kind of uh, stimulate the senses and calm you down with the power of plants. Now, another thing that you can use if you don't use essential oils or you don't have any is get a nice natural candle, perhaps a soy wax based candle. Definitely use a cotton wick. Don't use a lead based wick or any type of unnatural product. We want only the cleanest things burning in our environment, but a candle or a diffuser, especially when there are some beautiful scents such as Ylang Ylang can really help set the mood, set the stage and calm you down. All right, next step, we're going to actually begin with two areas of our body that surprisingly are connected to the pelvic floor. So the first area is our feet. The second area is our glottis and our voice. We're gonna do some vocalizations. So like I said, don't be scared away. This is really, really helpful if you just have an open mind. You can do this seated in a chair or sitting on a, the edge of a folded blanket if you have tight hips. I'm going to show you just sitting down. But the first thing we want to do is begin with a gentle foot massage. We're not going to use any oils or lotions on our feet because we will be standing up later and I don't want you to slip. But you're simply going to take your thumbs and you're going to rub from heel to toe along the inside of your foot from heel to big toe, and then from heel to second toe, from heel to middle toe, you get the idea. We're just running our thumbs along the rays of the foot from the heel to each toe. So I want you to take your time with this as I talk. So do both feet, heel to big toe. And like I said, you can be seated in a chair for this. So as you are massaging your feet, I want to explain to you why we're doing this. Again, like I said, the feet are connected to the pelvic floor by connective tissues. The, the fascia in the body actually connect feet to pelvic floor to upper areas of your body as well. So relaxing and releasing tension in the area of your feet the fascia, the connective tissues, the tendons, the ligaments, the muscles, that's actually going to help release and relax and just set the stage for a relaxed pelvic floor. So massage is wonderful. And while we massage, we're also going to relax the top part of this kinetic chain of connected tissues. So keep going. 
and I want to explain to you what we're going to do next as you continue to gently massage your feet. The next step is to experiment with vocalizations and the connection between the breathing diaphragm and the glottis, this area in your throat. What I want you to try first is just hum with your voice. Hmm. Now, I want you to tone up. So hum a little higher. Hmm. And when you did that, check in with your pelvic floor. What do you feel? What you will likely feel if you try it again, so tone regular, a regular hum, hmm, and then tone up, hmm, and tune into your pelvic floor. You'll feel that your pelvic floor actually slightly lifts, it elevates, it gets a little more tense when you do the high register. Now, I want you to go back to your regular register, so that middle, middle hum, hmm, and now I want you to go low. And tune into your pelvic floor. Tune into what's going on there. You should feel that it dropped a little bit. One more time, go middle, high, and low. I'll do it with you. So middle, high, low. Everyone is gonna have a different register. Don't worry if you were off key, I was. <laughs> so feeling that difference is gonna help you understand that now I want to focus on the low. So pick your low register. And what I want you to do is first of all, go back to your feet massage, but this time use one thumb on each foot. So now hopefully we're even between the two sides. We've given both sides some love. And I want you to now move from heel to toe along your arch, your middle arch, just a very gentle sweep of your feet from heel to at least the ball of your foot with your thumb, maybe even to your toe. Every time you sweep your foot, I'd like you to go long. Take it very slow, again, Lam, L A M, Lam. Keep going. Lam. Very low register. Again, we're relaxing the pelvic floor using our voice. So keep going as I explain what's happening here. Lam is the seed sound associated with your first chakra, your root chakra. This is a, an energy center of your body. We're going to be talking a little bit about the chakras today, and even if you don't believe in the chakras, even if you don't understand the chakras, just think of them as energy centers. That's all. It's nothing mystical, it's nothing magical, unless you'd like to think of it that way, but really, just think of it as areas of energy that you're bringing your attention to. So, Lam is the seed sound that helps wake up and activate this first chakra. The color associated with this chakra is red. So while you are doing this seed sound of Lam and massaging your foot gently and slowly from top to bottom, from heel to ball of your foot, I want you to really be thinking of the color red, a beautiful, rich, deep red. This first chakra is associated with safety, with security, with home, sense of stability, rootedness, groundedness. So think about that area of your body and just ground into the earth as you repeat. Take a deep breath in and out. And next up, we have the second chakra, the sacral chakra. It's more in your sexual center. It's more in your sexual organs. And the color associated with this chakra is orange. So now, while you're thinking of this part of your body, again, it's just an energy center. Don't worry about the mystical part of it. So picture the color orange and say the sound as you massage, VAM, V-A-M, and do it low. Again, we're using our vocal cords to help lower everything, lower our breathing diaphragm, relax our pelvic floor. 
warm. Again, warm. One more time. Warm. And now stop massaging your feet. Cross your legs. If you are seated on the ground, just put your feet on the floor. If you're seated in a chair, and inhale, spine long. Last chakra that we're gonna focus on right now is our solar plexus chakra. This is our power center, the color is yellow. Focus on red, orange, yellow, lit up from the bottom to the solar plexus and say Ram, R-A-M, Ram. One more time. Ram. Roll your shoulders. Look up, look down. Colors red, orange, yellow. Just repeat in your head. Red, orange, yellow. One more time. Red, orange, yellow. Those colors are juicy. They're fiery. They're lighting up. You're starting to feel the warmth and the energy in this part of your body. So let's stand up, come onto your knees, and then onto your, hand, your feet if you were on the ground. Come up to standing, and we're gonna begin with a chakra balancing warm up, bottom to top. Our first move is we're gonna begin with a chair pose with breathing. Think of your red root chakra, first chakra, first energy center down low. Sit back in chair pose, inhale, arms up, and exhale, fold. It doesn't have to be a deep chair. It doesn't have to be way down here. You just want your feet to be even apart from your knees. So your feet are even distance apart and your knees are even distance apart. Don't let your knees go far beyond your toes. You wanna to sit back, root back, Again, think first chakra, right down in the perineum area, way down low. So root chakra, red, grounding, inhale up, exhale, root down. Inhale up, exhale, root down. Inhale up, exhale, root down. Two more times, inhale up, Exhale, root down. Inhale up. Exhale, root down. Think red. Inhale up. Hands at your heart. Shake out your legs. Relax and release. Next chakra, orange, sacral chakra, center of creativity, sexuality, sensuality, and flow. So in this area, we're gonna do hip circles. Big hip circles, just nice and relaxed. Try to keep your head and shoulders fairly still. It's really the pelvis area that is moving in a circle. Your knees can be softly bent. And let's go the other way. Breathe steadily. No need to engage your core. No need to suck anything in. We are just flowing and grooving in the pelvic area and come feet together. We're gonna move into our solar plexus chakra with a twist. Just twisting, feeling your center light up. This is our center of confidence, of power, self-assurance, and it's lighting up right now with these twists. Let your arms flop if that feels okay to you. Your knees can be soft, but move from your center and keep breathing. The color is yellow. <sighs> Think again about what we have lit up. Our red, our orange, and our yellow. Next is green. Green for the heart chakra. So green right here. I want you to think about stepping your right foot back the back foot is at a 45 degree angle. Press into that back straight leg. Front knee is bent. Keep the knee over the ankle. 
Again, press into the outer edge of that back foot. Back leg is straight, not so much bent, unless, unless you need it to be. But try to straighten it out. You can widen your stance if you're feeling like your balance is not so great. No, great. If you feel like your balance is not so great. So again, sinking into this position, and now clasp your hands behind your back. And we're not doing a big back bend. It's really just clasping your hands behind your back and opening across your heart. Look forward and breathe. Imagine the color green, a beautiful emerald green, shining from your heart energy center in your chest. And tune in again to the rainbow that's growing in your body along your spine. We have red at the bottom. Orange is next. Yellow at your solar plexus and now beautiful brilliant green at your heart. One more breath in and out. And now step forward. Hands can be on your hips for balance. And other side. Step back. Feet can be wide if you need the balance. Back foot is turned at a 45 degree angle. Press into the outer edge of the back foot. Front knee is bent. Hips are square facing forward. Lifted through the low belly just a little bit. And now clasp your hands behind your back. Shine your heart forward. Brilliant green. Inhale and exhale. Look forward. Smile gently. Press into the outer edge of that back foot. Inhale and exhale. And now hands on your hips and step forward. Shake out the legs, twist it out again and moving into the throat chakra. So this is our center of truth where we speak our truth. We stand up for ourselves. We tell ourselves and our partner what we need. We have confidence in our voice and we have confidence in expressing our needs. So we are going to not only open our throat, but also open our heart one more time. So here we go. We're stepping back just as before. Step back, but open your arms and look up slightly. So everything opens and lifts. Now hands come together and step forward. Other side, step back and open your heart, open your chest, unfold. Feel like a bird flying and picture a beautiful, brilliant blue at your throat. Hands together, step forward and step back. Inhale, arms wide, look up, brilliant blue at your throat. Hands together, feet together. One more time. Step back. Open your chest. Open your throat. Brilliant blue. Expressing your needs. Expressing yourself. And hands together. Feet together. Let's move on to our third eye center. This is our center of intuition. Thumbs are at your forehead, right in the middle, your third eye area. This energy center is really where you process your, your thinking, your intuition. This is your mind center, okay? So thumbs are at this part of your head and you look up, opening the, the throat once again. And just breathe, your eyes can be closed. Thinking of this beautiful mind center, the third eye center of intuition, and the color is indigo. Eyes are closed. Two more deep breaths. While you're breathing, I want you to think about the rainbow. Red at the base. Orange at the sacral chakra. Yellow at the solar plexus. Green at the heart. Blue at the throat indigo at the third eye center and now feet together arms overhead look slightly up 
and reach your hands up overhead and think a beautiful violet, sparkly violet. This is our crown chakra. I want you to imagine energy shooting up out of the top of your head and just picture that beautiful rainbow all lit up. The energy centers are very, very important when it comes to sex and sexuality. When they're lit up and in line and firing and spinning and energized, you are gonna have an amazing experience. This may be new for you. This may not be something you've done before, but if you picture this rainbow of light, this rainbow of energy, I really think you're gonna be hooked and you're not ever gonna to wanna to go back. Now, hands at your heart, and let's move into our flow. This is brief, and gonna get deep into the hip area. So inhale, arms up, exhale, hands at your heart. Open your fingers so that their thumbs are together and pinkies are together, and the fingers are apart. It's like a lotus flower. Put the lotus at your heart, and then move the lotus flower down toward your sacral chakra, the second chakra right down low picture orange picture a beautiful brilliant orange lotus flower and we are going to inhale arms up exhale fold in half you can bring your belly button to your spine and bend your knees if you need to inhale look forward straighten your spine flat back hands can be on your shins or on your thighs Knees can be bent. Exhale, fold forward, touch the ground, step your right foot far back, and bring that back knee down. Now, you might need a block or two. You might need a blanket for under your back knee, or you might need nothing at all. So just make yourself comfortable. This is not a time to push yourself. This is a time to relax and treat yourself well. In this position, I want you to bring your hands to the inside of your foot. So my left foot, this foot right here, is walking out to the side just a little bit. So there is room for my hands to be on the inside. Point the back toe, look forward, heart moves forward, and sink into this posture. Breathing deeply. If you're very flexible, you can go down onto your bent elbows on the ground, or you can put your bent elbows on blocks. But I'm just gonna tent my fingertips and have my fingers on the ground, lifting my heart forward, looking forward, and we're staying here for 10 breaths. As you breathe, look up and look down and see how that changes the stretch. Everything moves very slowly, very relaxed. And think about that deep, brilliant red energy center of your first chakra and the beautiful, bright, rich, luscious orange of your sacral chakra, your second chakra. And even the yellow, the beautiful, golden, powerful yellow of your solar plexus chakra, your third chakra. Think of those energy centers lit up. One more breath in and out. And now crawl your foot back very slow and gently on your hands and knees now. We do some cat and cow. Spread out your fingers nice and wide. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, round your spine, tuck your tail under. Inhale. Exhale. 
Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Moving into puppy pose. So crawl your hands forward. Your hips stay above your knees. Now, you can have your head resting on a folded blanket or a yoga block or all the way to the ground. In this position, experiment with knee position. Your knees can be close together or try walking them a few inches apart, keeping your feet directly behind your knees, even if your knees are farther apart. Knees with feet directly behind, not in and definitely not out. So try different knee positions with puppy pose, and we'll be here for 10 breaths. Feel your sitting bones widening apart. We're holding the pose this long to allow your body to really sink into the stretch. Shift your body weight forward and come onto your elbows for Sphinx Pose. So elbows are on the ground, forearms are parallel to one another, palms face down. And in this position, I want you to roll your shoulders down your back, look forward, and press your pubic bone down into the ground. If you have any tenderness in the pubic bone area, you can be on a nice, small, thin, folded blanket or a yoga mat. But definitely think about pressing your pubic bone down into the ground. This is gonna help stimulate your libido. It's gonna help stimulate your first and your second chakras, those energy centers. And in this position, really again, press your shoulders down away from your ears and then play with looking up and looking down and maybe even rolling your head side to side. There's really no rules here. I just want you to flow freely. See what feels good to you. Again, pressing that pubic bone down into the ground. And now prepare to come onto your knees. So tuck your toes under, lift your belly button toward your spine and press up onto your hands and knees and roll out your bum in circles. Roll your bottom in circles like you're drawing a circle on the wall behind you with your bum. And then just let your back move however it wants to move. Go the other way. and tuck your toes, press it back into downward dog. Bend one knee at a time, press your chest toward your thighs, and really open up your hands, spread your fingers apart, and press into your palms. Now look forward and walk it forward, fingers tented, 
Walk it forward, bend your knees, inhale, arms up, exhale, lotus palms, lotus hands. Thumbs and pinkies together, palms together, base of your palms together. Take a deep breath in and out. Same thing, other side. Hands down toward your sacral chakra, lotus flower. Picture the orange, picture the red of your first chakra, your root chakra. Red, orange, yellow, those lower chakras lit up. Lit up and shining forward. Now, inhale, arms up. Exhale, lift your pelvic floor, pull your belly button to spine and fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift, hands are on your shins. Exhale, fold and step your left foot back. Back knee on the ground. Crawl your right foot out to the side so that your hands are on the inside of your foot. Be up in tented fingers like I was before or if you were on the other side, you can come down onto your elbows or onto yoga blocks and rest your elbows on the yoga blocks. Stay in this position for 10 nice deep breaths. And in this position, you can play with looking your head up and down and just see how that feels. Especially as I look down, I can really feel an increase in sensation in my, the front of my hip. So play with this, but always think about shining your heart forward rather than letting your back round. We always want to be moving forward with our heart and our spine. Prepare to move heel toe that right foot back so you're on your hands and knees. And we do a few nice rounds of cat and cow pose, inhaling and exhaling. <sighs> Inhale, release belly to the floor. Exhale, lift belly button toward your spine, round your back, tuck your tail. Inhale. And exhale. One more time. Inhaling. And exhaling. Puppy pose. Crawl your hands forward. Again, forehead can be on the ground or on a block or on a folded blanket. And play with the knee position. Your knees can be close together, feet behind, or you can bring your knees a little farther apart. Again, feet behind the knees, so not in and not out. Maybe you want to clasp your hands behind your head. Whatever you're doing, please focus on widening the sit bones apart. And if you feel any pressure in your back, then that means you definitely want to bring your knees closer together and you probably will want to put a folded blanket or a yoga block under your forehead for support. Now look forward, shift your body forward so that you're in Sphinx Pose. Forearms are parallel, shoulders are down away from your ears. Press the pubic bone down into the ground. That pressure again, it stimulates the sacral chakra, the sexuality center, the creativity and flow center. It stimulates that area, pressing it down. Maybe you need to be on a folded 
blanket for a little extra padding, that's fine. But breathe and let your head rock side to side, drawing a U with your head. Let your head be heavy. Look up, look down. Maybe even sway a little bit with your upper body. Keep breathing steadily. Come back to center. One more breath in and out. Pressing into that pubic bone area. And now tuck your toes under, prepare to come up to your hands and knees. Lift belly button to spine. Exhale, come on up to hands and knees. And one more round of what I call Naughty Cat, where you are rolling your hips in a circle behind you. So you're drawing a circle on the wall behind you. And then just let your back do whatever it wants. Let your back get into it however it feels good. Go the other way. Keep breathing, reversing direction with your circles so you're even in both directions. And now tuck your toes under. You might need to sit on a yoga block, but we're gonna go into a deep squat. So if you need a yoga block under your bum, that's okay, or a cushion or a pad. If you need to be up on your heels or onto your toes, with your heels up, that's okay too. But maybe you can set your heels down on the ground and sit back in a deep squat. Toes are slightly turned out. Elbows are pushing on the inner thigh area to open the hips, open the groin. Lift your heart and take three deep breaths. Spine is long, heart is lifted. Again, support yourself as you need to. You can be rocked forward onto your toes if needed, but think about long spine, heart lifted, and another deep breath. And now hands down, carefully lift your bottom, feet close together, bend one knee at a time. Head down, this is our final stretch. Bend both knees, round it up very slowly and carefully. And you should be feeling fantastic lit up, take one more moment to think of that beautiful rainbow chakra effect all the way from root to the crown of your head. We have red, we have orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet with sparkly lights all around. Again, if you're new to this, this might feel weird, but have an open mind, bow to yourself, I thank you for being here today. As always, remember, eat clean, move every day, and you will shine brighter.